DCR sculpting is by far the most common form of project finance repayment. In this case, what we're going to do is use the DCR equation, DCR equals CAD divided by debt service. We're going to back solve our principal and interest calculations such that our cash flows and our debt service follow each other. So they're matched to each other. So why would we do this? Why would we want to match our repayment profile to the cash flow profile? Well, primarily because our cash flows could be quite lumpy throughout the life of the project. So some examples, seasonality. Maybe let's take a renewables project. The wind is blowing at different levels through different months of the year. So because of that, you're generating more energy and your cash flows are going up and down throughout the year. Second, major maintenance. Maybe you have a large one-off cost. You have to replace a major piece of equipment in year five. So because of that, your CADs will be lower in year five. Thirdly, maybe inflation is increasing CADs over time. It's constantly going up. So towards the end of the loan, we might have more CADs to actually pay off our debt than we did at the beginning of the loan. In the case of a taxable entity, our tax charges might start coming in, say in year 12, after our losses have expired, and suddenly our CADs drops down because we now have to pay tax. Or finally, maybe our price of volume increases or reduces over time. So how does debt sculpting actually work? Remember I said, it's DSCR debt sculpting. DSCR is simply CADs divided by debt service. So we can rearrange this formula. Debt service, which equals the principal and interest, equals our CADs over DSCR. So our principal is simply CADs divided by DSCR less our interest itself. We have here a five-year example with four year of cash flows. And you can see our CAD is totaling 145 million. Our debt service is simply going to be rearranging our DSCR formula. So our debt service is just CADs divided by DSCR. In this case, our DSCR is set as 1.3. So in year one, we divide our 45 million to get 34.62 million. The same for the remaining periods of the project. Now, all we've done is taken CADs divided by DSCR. That is our total debt service. So let's say we have a loan of $100 million in year one. We start with $100 million. Our interest is simply going to be our interest rate times that. So with a 5% interest rate, our interest is $5 million. Our total debt service in year one was 34.6. Our interest was $5 million. So that means our principal amortization is 29.62. Our debt service minus our interest. So we're repaying 29.6 off our loan to end up with a closing balance of 70.39. We repeat the same calculation for year two, year three, year four, and year five. So we've now sculpted our repayments to match our CADs. We've simply taken CADs, whatever we expected it to be, divided it by a DSCR to get our debt service. Now, if you don't believe me, let's test it. Let's calculate our DSCR. So we take CADs, we divide by debt service. Of course, the answer is 1.3 because it has to be. We've taken CADs and divided by 1.3. We've sculpted our debt repayments. 